Hello, Hotel Moritz? The reception here, can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Hello, hotel bar? Hi, I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see, old George, now he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly... Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mambo... Helena! Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have been most helpful to me. My voice. My God, that is atrocious, horrific. 
It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless, ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. My voice. My God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice, my voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away! I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James! Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick! Quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs, then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. It's Dan. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am um, weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. 
situation, I... What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap and then... Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's, it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please. I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madam Romansky. You can trust me. This lock looks... Last young lady, I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could, 
Now hurry. Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Are you all right, madam? My heart has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. Turn the hands to me, and bring Madame Romanski back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker! I warned you! Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent.
Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you all right? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. Uh, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? Oh, sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm going to see what I can do. Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> 